Hello people, welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya. Today I am going to explain about the test, common diagnostic test and procedures means how to do in neurology. Biopsy of nerve tissue means biopsy means examination of the tissue taken out and it is examined. The specimen of the nerve tissue is collected and examined microscopically, microscopically to establish a diagnosis to understand what happened. So commonly used to diagnose malignancy means tumors okay cerebral angiography this is x-ray of brain are taken after a substance radio fake substance is injected into the circulatory system cerebral circulatory system this visualizes arteries and venous circulation in the brain okay understood x-ray is taken of the brain now CT scan CT of brain means computer generated reconstruction of the brain is created from a series of x-ray series of x-ray images taken a cross-sectional of the brain these images are particularly valuable in differentiating the various tissues within the brain such as tumors if there is tumors lesions can be identified in this case of a cerebrovascular accidents in, in uh, road traffic rta cases cerebrovascular cva patients we can identify we can take ct of brain now electroencephalography this is the electrical potentials of the brain are recorded EEG and electrical changes associated with epilepsy means there is any electrical changes like sleep disorders, tumors, hemorrhages etc can be detected. So also this can also be used to determine brain death also uh, whether the brain is functioning properly or not with problems of flat or silent EEG pattern. Now we will see electromyography means with the help of the muscle we will test this is electrical activity in muscle is graphically recorded after ele electrical stimulation useful this is hand electrical stimulation used in evaluating neuromuscular diseases okay neuromuscular disorders are there can be evaluated by this emg next lumbar puncture lumbar puncture a needle is inserted between the lumbar vertebrae see this is one vertebrae this is one vertebrae in between the needle is punctured in the subarachnoid space of the spinal column now cerebrospinal fluid can be withdrawn so this uh, fluid can be withdrawn for analysis a device can also be attached to the needle to measure csf pressure how the pressure is going on also called as analysis of csf fluid cerebrospinal fluid now, next we will see mri MRI means magnetic resonance images. This is magnetic energy and radio frequencies are used to stimulate body cells to emit radio signals that are converted to images. So the signals, radio signals are converted into images. So we can see uh, images of the MRI. MRI can differentiate various tissues such as tumors, inflammatory sites. In the case of uh, this uh, CVA accidents, it can determine if a stroke is caused by blockage or due to hemorrhage. Blockage means any blood clot, hemorrhage means any blood loss. Okay. Now myelography, x-ray of spinal cord are taken after injection of a contrast material into the spinal canal which this visualizes the abnormalities such as herniated disc or spinal column tumors can be identified by this myelography. Now ultrasonography of the brain, this is the ultrasound is used to detect the tumors, you know no ultrasound, cerebral hemorrhage and cerebral blood flow. So that knob is placed on the head and ultrasound is visualized with the help with the help of the ultrasound it is visualized visualized so I hope you understood thank you.